Just finished up the men's broad jump. We're here with winner Nate Schrader. Nate, how do you prepare for something like this? Uh, with today, I'm not really, not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't really a movement you see in CrossFit a whole lot. No, but there are a lot of jumping applications, and Olympic lifting is a good example, that explosive hip opening. So. And that hip extension that you really need for a good broad jump is in almost every movement we do in CrossFit. Um, is that something that you're good at? It is. Yep. So uh, do you blame this, <laughs> not blame, um, do you attribute this more to just kind of a natural ability to jump long, or was there a particular technique that you use? Um, I th think I definitely have some good genetics in those regards. Um, but, yeah, if you kind of lead with your chest forward and then throw your feet out, you can get a little extra distance. Not sure if the other competitors did that or not, but it worked now, out well. Now, you missed your last attempt. Um, was kind of sticking it. How do you stick it? It's tough in there because of the narrow stance we had to land instead of a normal squat stance. It would be ideal to land in a squat stance because you're stable there. But, um, yeah, that's why I tipped forward. And do you think the Australians had an advantage because they have lots of kangaroos? This is possible, yep. Kangaroo riding experience. Somehow he was able to overcome that obstacle, no kangaroos for Nate. Uh, finish the men's broad jump, first place, way to go.